people so welcome back so today's video is about this caterpillar communication adapter 3 i'm going to teach you how we can diagnose the caterpillar machine by using this uh, adapter and uh, this one is a communication wire which connected between computer and this uh, caterpillar adapter so this is second and i bought it specially for making the video okay so this is my computer and here you can see this is my et software and this is this one so now i am going to start a series of videos for the about how we can use this et and uh, how we use the sys so yes this is my adapter here you can see that uh, usb this is j1939 this is also communication line this one is cdl also communication line and this is j1708 and this one is a power so now i'm going to connect this adapter to this is my diagnostic port of the machine so i put my adapter here so where you can see i have made the connections this one is my communication port from the machine okay and this one is my communication adapter 3 i connected this one here and from here this wire is going to the computer this is my computer so today i am sitting this uh, inside the 77 to caterpillar dumper this are using this machine not have any problem any issues okay so just only i gave you the uh, little bit of uh, introductions and uh, in future if any problem come then uh, through this by using this et i let you know how we diagnose the problem how we trace the problem by using the et in caterpillar machines okay so i just uh, today on the machine and open the et and show you all the parameters we are using so now i am going to on my machine now my machine is on in, in on position so now i am on computer site so here you can see this is my et i open it so now my et is going to open work is going on so this window is appeared okay this is asking the caterpillar communication adapter set cd has detected 3 ecm here you can see this is cdl connection is establishing here so these are the in this way okay so you asking about my adapter is old one i want to update or not i don't want to update it i therefore i put at a no so then you can see here written 3 ECM are detected okay so which ECM is need this is 3 ECM one is a chassis 772 and second one is C18772 and third one is monitor 772 there are 3 ECMs are connected so showing the 3 ECM if I said okay so my first ECM will selected if I want to this one I put it here and ask okay then my this ECM will selected if I want to monitor check so I will set OK. So my this monitor will be selected. So I will check my first ECM. I said OK. So you can see this is my first ECM. Available ECMs. Okay. So these are this ECM is now available. Okay. And this is the data about our chassis ECM. This is data is about a C18 area and this data it's all three ECMs data is given which components are which parts I want to work I will select that one okay and downside here you can see also written active code no active code no active events status flag is one it means my engine is a stop my engine is not running just only machine is on so which chassis or which one I select I select first one so you can see only my first ECM about its uh, is a uh, what is the ID number, what is equipment, uh, transmission serial number, all things about the first ECM chases this one about all information is uh, coming. 
so if i want to code so i use this bar what is the what i want to do i select all things are here okay so this time i am not checking anything so this was only the introduction how we can connect the hardware and how we can uh, select et how it work and uh, all the things i just what this video is for only introductions so in this way we only connect the our at uh, hardware our adapter and uh, on the run the et so when it is run so this type of things are coming so hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends